Damn. This is crazy. Yo, I ne I literally I never thought this would happen. Like y'all been here, and if you haven't been here, then not understand what's going on. I mean, you can see by the title, like, yo, I'm I'm like moving. Like what? Me? First and foremost, if y'all don't know, like I'm still on my mom's property. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in a back house. You feel me? Like I've been here since what? 2017. 2017. Like, like y'all remember? Come on, man. I used to do my intro right here. Can y'all see this? What? My living room? Come. What? My bathroom? I don't think you ever seen my bathroom. Have y'all ever seen my bathroom? This small. Y'all have never seen my bathroom. Have y'all ever been in here? It's tiny as fuck, but I mean, I'm grateful, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all have ever seen toilet the devil. Sorry, lady, sorry. But my bathroom, you know? My room's hella dirty, because, you know, I'm going through hella shit, and I ain't been here, so I'm getting rid of clothes. So, I mean, y'all can see it, though. I don't give a fuck. I don't got nothing to hide. I'm going through hella shit. Look at all this shit I got. Going through clothes. Pluto done chewed that up, you know what I'm saying? I'm a normal-ass person. Shit happens. Either way, this is my room. I never even gave a room tour when I transformed this and made this closet hella big. Like, what? There's no way, bro. This is really happening. Hey, yo. Got cursed on my eye. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on, man. Hold on, y'all. Like, Y'all not really understanding what's really about to happen. For me, at least. Like, I want y'all to feel what I'm feeling right now. Bro. Bro, let's, let's rewind and start from 2017, bro. Like, I have been living with my mom my whole life. You know what I'm saying? There's been periodic times. Or not periodic, but there's been a, there was a time I did move out and move my girlfriend at the time. But, like, I've been other than that, I literally have been living with my mom my whole life. And in 2017, I came and, you know, rented out my mom's back house. That was a huge accomplishment, I think, for anybody. But for me, it was like, yo, I'm on my own. Despite, you know, being on my mom's property, despite people assuming that because I'm, you know, have followers and shit like that, like, oh, you still living with your mama? Like, that's still her property? I didn't even fuck. Like, this was a huge ass accomplishment for me. I moved to my own house, two beds. Bedrooms, one bathroom, a whole kitchen. Like, this is a crib. This is a nice ass crib, bigger than some apartments. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally seen apartments in LA and they be like boxes. So, I'm just saying, like, to me, that was a huge, huge, huge accomplishment, man. And at the time where I got this house, like, I was like, of course, I was on my grind and, you know, focusing on making content and stuff like that. But I, I really wasn't making money like that. Like, you know, I wasn't making like money, money. You know, I was making enough to pay rent but not enough to really like other than that it was like rent food course clothes you know what i'm saying but it was just like all right i'm just living that not day to day but it was just like i'm just happy i got my own space you know anybody that can move out their mom crib whether it's 10 feet whether it's 10 miles whether it's 10 hours that should be an accomplishment for you it doesn't have to necessarily be a thing even if you're still living with your mom that's not even like we shouldn't live up that expectation to where it's like oh we gotta move out of mom's crib but either way when i moved out i was so fucking happy i had my own shit i bought everything in my crib you know and it was just like so much gold and i made content in here and it was just lit you feel me and then after time it was like i knew i was safe for about two years now i was financially ready to move out and i also was ready to like i had made that point towards just like all right i need more space you feel me like this little house is cool but i'm ex excelling in my career and it's just like where my where my house is for one i'm in a whole relationship so it's like I'm never really here. I'm always at my girl's house. You know what I'm saying? The reason why we film more over there than over here, a lot of the times it's like my house is really dark. And for content, I like stuff to be really bright. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like the content over there was great. You know, it looked good. But don't get me wrong. Like we filmed content. Y'all remember we filmed content, hella content for like about a year straight. And when she got her crib, you know, I was always over there being booed up and filming content over there. But it was just like.
like, you know, I, I feel like at this point, it was just like, I've been actively looking for a house. And at first, I don't know if you guys know, but like, I was looking for a house for myself. I wasn't gonna move in with Natalie right away. Uh, I think we said that on our other channel. And I don't, I just don't, I didn't think we were ready. Just because we had been friends for years doesn't mean we were ready to live together. So I had been actively looking before we got in a relationship. Then when we got in a relationship, we talked about it. So then I was like, nah, I still kind of want to, you know, live by myself. And then now we're like, yo, like we want to live together, you know? So we got word, me and Natalie got word, you know, that we got approved for a house, y'all. We got approved for a house, y'all. Studs, we did it. Studs. It don't even got to be my studs. Everybody, easy gang. Fucking Liddy McGritty gang. Liddy McGritty, like two fat bitches with saggy ass titties, Liddy. If you go way back then, gang. We did it. We, my mom was out there jamming. Oh, fuck. I didn't even think about this. I gotta tell my moms. My mom is gonna be sad. My mom is probably gonna cry. Like, I'm not even gonna cap. Damn. Y'all, I didn't even think about moms. Pretty much y'all, but like I was saying, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to, you know, tell her. You know, I finally got a house. We finally got a house. Me and Natalie are officially moving in together. I'm excited to share the news with y'all. It's going down over here and I'm I'm so fucking happy. You know, I am sad because, you know, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving my home, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, this is a dream come true for me and it's a bigger house, it's more space. I'm with my girl. My dogs are gonna be like able to just be anywhere they want, you know what I'm saying? And not anywhere because of course Natalie, you know, I gotta, I gotta talk to the baby or whatever, but it's just gonna be an, ex an amazing experience and I've been waiting for this for so fucking long, y'all. Y'all not even, y'all not hearing me how long. Like I'm literally telling you, I've been actively looking almost every day for two years straight and to go through countless of houses to get denied because not only of my race, my sexual preference, and not even get responses back because financially, I know I'm more qualified than half of the people applying, but I have been discriminated against in my face. I have been racially profiled. I have been judged uh, by applying houses, you know, once they see me, they see my income, they see everything. Everything seems super fine, but once they see who I am as a person, I instantly get denied. So to actually get approved for a house, it's crazy. And y'all know, like, we, we literally posted a video on my other channel like we told y'all natalie didn't understand it she just didn't think that i was like she didn't know what was going on but she got a taste of it too you feel me so to actually that's 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 a whole another thing but to actually get approved for a fucking house y'all y'all don't understand y'all know i'm an emotional being and I'm, I'm gonna try not to get emotional man but this is so fucking exciting bro we did it i i couldn't have done it without you y'all have changed my life y'all have literally changed me as a person for the better y'all y'all made me like get this far bro and because i was consistent with y'all and y'all was consistent with me we're able to do this we're able to finally move out and i'm proud of you for doing everything that you've been doing i'm proud of you too for doing everything that you've been doing and and no matter what anybody says stay consistent because there's gonna be a lot of freaking haters bro a lot of haters so many people hated on me Talking shit like oh, she's still living with her mama, like or or, or like damn, like how, you put all this money on you, you ain't bought a house yet. Like first, don't let none of that shit. If you're still living with your mom, like don't let none of that shit ever get to you. You take shit at your own pace. That nobody might, people might not know what the fuck you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Like they might not know how they might think that you live in this lifestyle, but really and, and all happy and all this other shit. And really, you gotta you got people take care of. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's my situation exactly. I'm just saying they don't they might not know your situation and your struggles. You feel me? I've been living in my mom's back crib. It ain't even it's mine. Of course it's somebody's, you know what I'm saying? Somebody gotta own something. Of course my mom, she's the owner of the property. You feel me? But this is my crib. And people was trying to take that away from me, you know what I'm saying? I never I I I, I never let that shit get to me. Of course I seen this shit, but I never let that shit get to me. You know what I'm saying? Me living here was one of the smartest things I could have done. The healthiest thing for my family. You know what I'm saying? And it was, and when I say smart, like imagine because you make so much money as a business fucking person, a business minded individual like yourself or me, I'm business savvy, you know what I'm saying? And where my money is going in different places. But imagine because I'm on now or because I live this lifestyle, have followers and you know, y'all are assuming I'm making guapo or making, I'm, I'm making a really good amount of money. I'm supposed to live the lifestyle you tell me to live. 
You feel me? Like imagine if I lived the lifestyle you told me to live. Or not you, because I know you supported the hater behind you. I would not be happy, you know? But I've, I'm so proud, because I first and foremost, I've saved so much money not just throwing it away in some big ass house that I would have been like, oh, I gotta live this lifestyle because the hater behind you, not you boo, the hater behind you told me like I had to or I should be or why are you still living with your moms? You feel me? So I'm, I'm smart, I'm happy I did it. I stayed here not because it was like, I was just trying to save. I stayed here, like who really still like, got their moms right here can walk up and be like, yo mom, yo bro. A lot of people don't care, they gotta go fly across the country. You know what I'm saying? And this is all, not only helping my mom for somebody to pay rent back here. I could have been moved out a long time ago, but it's just, I don't, I didn't have to. Damn sure not for you, you know what I'm saying? But back to the actual happiness of this video. I'm proud, I'm fucking excited. I'm finally finna get the house and it's with my queen, my baby. I wouldn't want it with anybody else. And it's gonna be mine, like, fuck. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? Bro, the streams? The streams are gonna be lit. The videos, the... TikToks lit. I can't wait for you guys to see the house till we reveal the house, till we do a house tour, till we do a move in tour. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, it's gonna be a crazy journey. I'm gonna literally pack it down. I don't know if you guys know this. I haven't already said it yet. This video might not be out yet, but we got approved for our house. And we're like, okay, so like, like when can we move in? They're like, you guys can move in like three days if y'all want. What? This is unheard of, y'all. I'm super excited. You know, I don't know how I'm gonna tell my mom. I'm definitely gonna tell my mom, you know, this video might be out, but I'm literally about to go tell my mom, you know, before I drop this video. So, Mama Yeezy is gonna be really hurt, and ah, my mama, damn, damn, y'all. Oh, she's gonna be emotional. I had already told her that I was looking for a crib, too. Like, you know, and we had that conversation. I'm actively looking. This was months and months ago. You know what I'm saying? And you know, she was like, I knew it. Like, I know it's probably time and all that other stuff. But yeah, she's out there working out right now. Damn. Y'all help me tell Mama Easy, please. Y'all help me tell her. Like I said, about the time this video comes out, I have I would have already told her. And y'all would probably just be waiting for her reaction. So what I need y'all to do right now, please, please, please spam the comments and just say we love you, Mama Easy. You know, we love you. And everything's gonna be alright. Y'all is coming together. Look at my crib, man. Shout it's out to really Natalie. Real. It's really real. It's happening. Yo, Why we have to say shout out to Natalie. Oh my God. I said shout out to Natalie because she didn't pack most of this stuff right here. <laughs> I packed, um, her house is damn near done. Yeah, it is. She's just finishing her room. Yeah, And mama. she just has to pack her electronics because I don't want to be responsible for that. Yeah. But everything else is done. She didn't pack my whole house. My little, my little whole house all right here. My room still ain't done. I'm over here. I just did the closet. You know, my room is crazy. I Look at all this stuff, y'all. I got the closet done. You know, I got the drawers, you know. Ooh, I got a lot to do, y'all. I still got a lot to do. Um, I got to hang up all these because all these clothes is coming with me. But y'all, it's coming together. Um, Damn, I can't believe this is real. Woo! Bro, we are so tired. I know it probably don't look different to y'all, but more stuff has been packed. Stuff is over here. Natalie's tired. It's literally one o'clock in the morning. We did all this. Can y'all see? Y'all probably can't see. It's like, we did all this in like five hours. This room is not all the way packed. Literally, the only thing left that we need to pack is the electronics. My room, we just need to put this in the U-Haul. Y'all gotta check it out. Uh, my room. Or keep the bed staying here. All those clothes I'm giving to my brother. Well, he gets to go through them and see if he wants anything. And these, this is all going in the U-Haul, how it is. This is going in the U-Haul, dress is going in the U-Haul. So it's almost empty, empty. You guys won't really see it empty, empty because I'm leaving a lot of this stuff for my brother. So I'm just tired, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all, I'm gonna see y'all.